Getting your baby to take a bottle when they are breastfed can be a challenging transition. And the reasons behind making this change can vary a lot. If you want to give your baby a bottle for the first time, then stay tuned as I'll be giving you some tips and tricks on how to make this transition. Today I'm answering your sleep question, how do I transition from breast to bottle? Hi, I'm Brooke, one of the sleep consultants for Little Ones and mother to two beautiful children. At Little Ones, we specialise in infant and child sleep through a comprehensive set of online sleep programs. We would love to help you and your family achieve better sleep, so please visit us at www.littleones.co. At Little Ones, we encourage every family to make their own informed choice on how to feed their baby. This could be exclusively breastfed, formula fed, exclusively pumping or mix fed. It doesn't matter how you feed your baby as long as they are fed and they're healthy. Breastfeeding can be full of highs and lows. It is amazing to feed your baby from your own body and sustain them this way for so many months before they start eating solids. But during this time, there can be phases where you don't know if your baby's getting enough milk or you just want a break or you need to go back to work and your baby needs to take a bottle. This can be a tricky phase for some babies, but if we give your baby a bottle soon enough that they are well adjusted to a bottle, but they can still breastfeed well, then this transition can be an easy one. The best time to introduce a bottle is between six and eight weeks when your baby's sucking reflex is still really strong. At this time, your baby will be able to suck anything that comes in contact with their mouth, so they're more inclined to take a bottle when they're offered one. And between six and eight weeks, your baby is well established on breastfeeding. And this normally happens between two to three weeks of exclusively breastfeeding. So if you give your baby a bottle beyond this point, then this won't hurt your baby's ability to breastfeed. And it shouldn't discourage them from breastfeeding in the future if you give them a bottle from time to time. You want to try and introduce a bottle before you decide to go back to work or that you want to have a night out or just spend some time with some family and friends without worrying about feeding your baby in front of them because some people can feel a bit uncomfortable feeding their baby from their breast in front of others. And this is okay. If someone wants to breastfeed their baby in public, then they can do that. If they want to give their baby a bottle in public, then they can do that. It's up to them. But before you do this, you want to make sure that your baby can take a bottle so that you're not sending them to daycare while you're at work and they need to have a bottle, but they've never had one before. That environment can be quite stressful and they may not want to take a bottle at all if they are put in that situation. So you want to make it a really nice start. So you may want to feed your baby in a dark room with white noise on and make sure that they're really, really hungry. This will help them be more inclined to take a bottle. If we gave them a bottle after they've had a few breastfeeds in the day and they just want to go to sleep or they just want to have a breastfeed, then they won't take a bottle. We want to make sure that they've had maybe a really good lunch nap and then that they're really hungry for some milk. This will help them be more inclined to take a bottle. Or you could offer them a bottle at their bedtime milk feed or if you gave your baby a dream feed then give them a bottle here. They're tired, they are hungry, they're more inclined to take a bottle. We also want to make sure that we give your baby the right bottle for them. A breastfed baby is used to quite a strong flow and they have quite a strong suck so they may be more inclined to take a bottle that is larger for their age or a bottle that they can control the flow of themselves. If a bottle is too small for their age and the flow isn't strong enough, they're not going to be bothered trying to get any milk out of it because it's too much effort so they just don't want to take it. We also want to make sure that the bottle is hot enough. If the bottle's too cold, some babies can be really sensitive to this and they won't want to take the bottle. If the bottle's too hot, then it could burn their mouth and they're really not going to want to take the bottle. So we want to make sure that it's around 36 to 37 degrees because that's 
the human body's temperature and that's where breast milk sits at. So that's the perfect temperature that your baby will be used to and they'll be more inclined to take the bottle. Sometimes our babies won't take a bottle from the mother and this is because they can smell the breast, they know the breast is there, why aren't you giving me the breast? So it can be a great idea to get someone else to give your baby a bottle for the first time. This could be your partner or a family member or a friend. It doesn't matter who, just as long as they're calm, they're confident and they'll give their baby that bottle. We also really want to make sure that you're calm. If you're stressed and anxious when giving your baby a bottle, then they're going to associate those feelings with the bottle and they won't want to take it. We want to stay nice and calm. Don't try and force the bottle into their mouth. Let the baby play with the, the teat or let it go in their mouth and they can play with it with their gums or their tongue. Just get them familiar with the bottle at first. And then who knows, they may just start sucking and ta-da, they've taken a bottle. Or it could take some time. So you need to be patient and offer the bottle every now and again to make sure that they're familiar with it. It's not a foreign thing. It's not weird. And they'll eventually get used to it and they'll take it when they're hungry. Some other tips around bottle feeding and breastfeeding. If you want to give your baby a bottle, but you also want to keep breastfeeding, you are going to want to pump while you give your baby a bottle. And you want to try to be consistent with the times that you normally breastfeed with the times you give a bottle so that you're not giving them a bottle and then breastfeeding them. Then you're not give, keeping up the supply. If you give your baby a bottle, then you want to pump at the same time so that you have milk for the next time you give them a bottle. Or if you want to give them a formula bottle instead of a breast milk consistently at the same time each day, then you don't want to pump. If you pump at this time, then you will keep your supply up and you'll have too much milk in there. If you give them a bottle with formula and you want to keep that a formula bottle, like say at a dream feed, then you want to stay asleep. That's fine. You do that. Your body will adjust. It will stop producing enough milk for that time. So then they can just keep having that formula bottle and it won't affect your milk supply. I hope this has answered your question on how to transition from breast to bottle. If you have any further questions, feel free to pop them in the box below. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for any notifications. Thanks for watching. Bye.